Hello people and today I'm going to show you how to use red poison. Now there have been many requests for this video as people have had trouble using red poison. So let's get started. Go ahead and right click and click run as administrator. Now anything else that needs your administrative access will automatically be asked for you by red poison. So the current version right now is 1.2.5 and it comes with an automatic update which is the top up here it's going to ask you if you want to update if it's outdated and at the bottom here it has a live update feed what that means is on my website there's a text and I type it in and it appears here for you so I can change it anytime I need as long as you are connected to the internet so let's get started when you first download red poison click jailbreak if it's a new one still click jailbreak to extract the files. Version 1.2.6 will probably have this as a lot of people have problems because when I release a new one they don't have the files required because they didn't extract it. So a new red poison should have that. So let's get started. Okay so I'm going to click jailbreak. Now if this is your first time running you're going to get red poison files not found, I mean uh, found and red poison will now attempt to extract your files click ok to continue click extract this shouldn't take long but i'm going to pause the video anyways also while it is extracting make sure to get ready for your phone by backing it up and restoring it you don't have to restore but it's recommended and backing up is very highly recommended as sometimes problems can go down and I cannot fix them without a restore so just remember to back up okay once it is done it's gonna ask you if you ran the jailbreak already click no it's gonna say continue here it's gonna open up the SSH RAM disk tool and your iPhone will need to be in DFU mode as you can see here so I'm gonna go ahead and connect my device and I'm going to put it into DFU by holding the power button plus the home button for 10 seconds. And then holding just the home button for another 15. Okay, so now that it has detected my iPhone in DFU mode, it's going to run the SSHRD. So I'm going to go ahead and pause it while it runs this. This is pretty much the basic stuff. If your phone boots up during the process, it did not work, try it again. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Just keep trying. You can go ahead and pause the video until this is done. Okay, so when you get to the almost there, your device should show an apple with a loading symbol. It'll be the iOS 6 apple. When you get there, just wait for almost there to finish. Almost there, just finished. Now you can click OK to continue. This is going to open up this. It's going, it's going to mount the files. If you get a mount error, there is currently no fix for that. I am so sorry. Your device will not be able to be jailbroken with Red Poison nor Rage Break because at Rage Master is already working on a mount fixer, but at this time it's not fixable. I am so sorry. Again. So I'm just going to let all these go through. Then when SCP is going to open. Okay, and once S when SCP finishes, it's gonna close and a message box should pop up. So I'm just gonna wait. And there it is. So when you're done, it's gonna say you are done, congrats, you're a couple of steps away from having a jailbroken iOS 7 device. Click just boot tether now and every time you restart your iPhone. What this means is when you restart your iPhone, you're going to have to open up red poison again and click just boot tether okay so right now your iPhone should so show an iTunes symbol with the connection USB wire so click just boot tether and I have an iOS 7.0.4 AT&T GSM so I'm gonna click 7.0.4 now for those of you who don't know it GSM is for sims cards CDMA is Networks without SIMS cards. 3.2 is an iPhone 8 gigabyte phone. 3.2 support is coming in version 2 of Red Poison. So 
stay tuned for that. So I'm gonna wait and click boot iOS 7.0.4. If you do not know how to enter DFU mode, you can click no, I know how, so I'm gonna click yes. I'm gonna enter DFU mode now and then press OK. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter DFU mode. So I'm gonna hold the power button plus the home button for 10 seconds. Then we're going to let go of the power button and hold the home button for another 15 seconds. And now I recognize my device. So once that says ignoring same device, you can exit out of it. Then click OK. And it's going to go ahead and boot your device with this. Your device should show a white background, whitish grayish, with a Apple logo. This is how you know it is working. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and I'm going to come back to this when it is done. Okay, and when it is done, it's just going to disappear. It's not going to say anything. And on your phone, you're going to see a whole bunch of text and all. Just ignore it until it boots. You can unplug it from your computer now and all, but wait until I'm done installing Cydia and then boot again. Then you can unplug it from the computer because after it boots, we're going to click install Cydia. After installing Cydia, we're going to boot again, and after booting, you don't have to install Cydia again, it'll automatically work for you. Now, on installing apps, you have to reinstall Preference Loader and Mobile Substrat. Right here at the bottom, there's going to be a button to do that for you, but you have to connect to the computer every time. If not, you can go into Cydia and install Mobile Substrat and Preference Loader each time, which isn't that hard. So, as my phone is booting up, when it is done, I'm going to click install Cydia, which it is done now, and you're going to need to accept all of the things it asks you. It didn't ask me anything because I've already accepted it. This turns your firewall off so that the WinSCP program can go into your phone. So I'm going to go ahead and enter my iPhone IP right now. I'm going to go ahead and slide unlock. As you can see, my firewall just turned off. Red Poison will do this for you. So I'm going to go into settings. I'm going to click Wi-Fi. I'm going to click the I next to my Wi-Fi network. And my IP address will be right there. By the way, Red Poison also enables your firewall when you are done. So go ahead and click enter once you enter your IP. And for the fatal error connection refused, there's also not a fix for that as your iPhone is refusing to connect and I recommend restoring as that can fix it sometimes but other than that there's no fix now connection error time out and all you can contact me on Twitter and I can help you resolve that so after a little while this should ask you to accept the cache and type in Y and click enter as it shows now so I'm going to go ahead and type Y and click enter So here it is, installing Cydia. It's going to take about maybe two minutes. That's about at most on mine. It's going to take longer if you have a slower download spe speed. So I'm going to pause it until it is done. Okay, if you get this right here, everyone gets this, so just ignore it. It's not an error. Just ignore this launch services. And once you reach this window, your phone will restart. And it'll be on the iTunes and the iTunes USB plug-in screen. And then we will just boot again. And do not run Cydia install again as you can mess up your device. So click any key to continue. Now we wait. This is going to turn our firewall back on for us. So I'm going to click continue again. I'm going to click OK. And now I'm going to boot iOS 7.0.4. Yes, I know how to enter DFU mode. And I'm going to put my phone into DFU mode now. So we're going to hold the home button and power button for 10 seconds. And then let go of the power button and hold my home button for an additional. 15 seconds 
and now I'm going to click OK to continue. And it's going to boot your phone again. Once it boots your phone, your phone will be jailbroken and have Cydia. Now again, when you install a tweak, you have to reinstall Preference Loader and Mobile Substract. I recommend installing Mobile Substract then Preference Loader because after installing Preference Loader, it actually will spring and that helps. So that'll be all. I'm just going to wait for this to boot and show you Cydia. After that, that is it. You are on a jailbroken iOS 7 device. You can thank Adobe for this. You can follow him on Twitter. His Twitter account is in the description and right there. You can also follow the people who helped me make this, the people who helped me find all the errors, and the people that made this so easy for you to use. You can find their links in the description. You can find Red Poison's link in the description. And lastly, but not least, you can find the Red Poison download link in the description. Also, you can follow me on Twitter again to see Red Poison updates and so on and so forth. So now my phone is booted. I see the text on the screen. So I'm going to go ahead and wait for that to finish. I'm going to pause the video until it is. Hello, YouTubers. Right here is the phone after it boots from Cydia. Installing Cydia, so I'm going to slide to unlock. And I'm going to go to Cydia. After opening Cydia, you will see all of your files. And you can scroll down to see that iOS 7.0.4 is clearly there. So thank you for using Raid Poison, and I will see you later. Goodbye.